Okay, so this is the second example um, for comparing, re comparing reducing balance and flat rate interest loans. This is page three. So it says here a reducing balance loan of $25,000. So be aware it says reducing balance here is repaid over eight years with monthly installments and interest charged at 9% per annum. It says find the repayment value total amount of interest paid and the equivalent flat rate of interest. Let's do each of these um, one by one. So the repayment value is just going to be found by using our simple, um, sorry, our, com our finance solver. So repayment value means that PMT is what we're looking for. So we want to hit enter in this position and we fill in all the other information. So the N it says eight years with monthly installments, so eight twelves, which is ninety six. Okay, eight years monthly. Um, interest rate is nine percent. So this is what you'll be entering in your cash calculator. Present value is twenty five thousand dollars. Your future value, we're going to set it to zero because we want to know what our monthly repayments will be um, to pay it off. And because it's monthly, your PPY and CPY will both be set to 12. So you will hit enter there. And I get a um, value of $366.26, rounded to the nearest cents. So the repayment value, question A, repayment is going to be 36626 per month or monthly. Um, the total amount of interest paid, remember total amount of interest, we're using our total interest formula here. Okay. And this one's nice and easy. There's nothing left over. It's just going to be um, monthly for eight years. So B would be using this formula N in this case is 96 times D, which is our repayment of $366.26 minus the um, principal. And we should get an answer of 1016.96. So to take out a, that's a lot of money, to take out a $25,000 loan, in eight years, you'll be paying ten thousand more than ten thousand dollars in interest. So that's B for you. Now for C, C is asking if you read the question carefully, um, the equivalent flat rate of interest. So it actually wants you to find the rate of interest, which is your R, for the loan in which all other variables are the same. So what it's asking is that if this was taken up as a flat rate interest loan with everything else remaining the same, what would be the rate charged? So C, if it's talking about flat rate interest, um, we're going to be using the flat rate interest formula. I is, okay, so here's our formula and we are aiming to look for R. So if everything stays the same, we're going to have to input all our other variables. So we need to know what I is, V0 and N is, which we do from our previous calculation. So we want the interest to be the same as this condition. So we're going to set the I to 1016096. We're going to set our V0, which is going to be the amount that um, we borrow to 25K. <clears throat> and the N is going to be eight years. Okay, because we want, the reason why we don't, we don't change the N here to 8 times 12 is because we want the rate to also appear in years. If we leave it to 8 times 12, which is 96 um, installments, then our answer for R is going to be a monthly figure. But we do, we actually want the yearly figure. So we're going to keep the N in years. And what you can do... Um, is you can use your solve function on your calculator and you type in exactly this. 
1160.96 equals um, $25,000 times, you can put R or X, whatever you want, uh, times 8 divided by 100, comma, R, and then you'd hit enter. Okay, because it will solve for that unknown figure for you. You can you do it this way, or if you like to transpose a formula and work it out manually, you can go for uh, you can do that as well. So it's really up to you. You'd find that the R would come out as five point zero eight percent. Okay, which means that if you were to take this loan out under flat rate, and if you want to, if you want to pay this much, um, pay this much interest and um, pay this much repayment every month, then the interest rate in terms of simple interest will be 5.08%. Um, okay. All right.